Hey, what's up guys? This is my episode 6 of the best Android apps 2014 and I'm demonstrating this episode on the all new HTC One M8. The reason behind this is that a lot of you might have switched from other mobile platforms to Android. If you own a new Android device, make sure you check out our previous episodes. I will leave the links in the description. I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of useful applications for your device. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first app in my list is Link Bubble. Link Bubble is a great app to browse your web. It is the best time saver app. With this app, you don't always have to open browser for the links that are shared on any apps. When you tap on any link, you get a Facebook chat head like pop-up circle that loads the link on the background and you can continue using the app. To see the link and its content, tap on the pop-up circle and here you can see the web page of that link. Tap on the circle again to minimize it and you can drag it to share it directly to Facebook by dragging it to the Facebook circle on the left hand side and other sharing options on the right hand side. Or you can also pull it down to close it. You get a single pop-up for a single link in the free version and getting the full version will allow you to launch multiple links in the background or say you can launch multiple link bubbles. When you open the app, you can see the amount of time this app has saved per link. And if you tap on it, you can see the total time this app had saved. You can tap here to upgrade to the pro version. Over here, you have history and settings. On the settings menu, you can turn on the auto expand functionality and you can choose apps to intercept links from. Again, in the free version, you can intercept links from only one app. So choose any single app that you use frequently if you are using a free version. Say for example Facebook as there are multiple links shared amongst the friends so you need to open the links frequently. So that's very handy. You also can choose an app to be displayed on the left bubble and the right bubble. Select default apps for browsing and other options. So guys a great app for those who browse internet frequently on their phone. The next one here is the Music X Match. Music X Match is the great way to experience music on your phone. It is the best music player for your Android device. HTC M8 being a music phone with its awesome boom sound front facing speakers, you will definitely need a great music player and this app is just perfect for that. There are a lot of cool features that makes this app awesome. You can use it as a lyrics finder, viewer or lyrics downloader. or for fetching lyrics offline from your mp3. You can sing along any song better than a karaoke. Enjoy your music with lyrics moving along with the music. Use the equalizer for better sound and many more. When you start the app, you have these four different tabs for all your music. Music ID helps you to find what you are listening to. Like if you are listening to any song on the radio and you want to know what song it is, you can tap on this button and let it analyze the artist and the song's name. And like other music finding apps, this app does not just finds the music and shows the artist's name, it also shows you the album art, lyrics and other details too. Not just the lyrics, but the app auto highlights the sentence that are being currently spoken, if the music is properly recorded. And going back, you can search other songs or see through your history. Here is a quick demo, I will not be playing any music due to the copyright issues, but you can see here what this app is capable of. Back to the main menu, we have favorites where we can add our favorite songs. Store is from where you can buy or restore subscriptions or buy different products like equalizers, cover art and so on. So let's go on to music. Here you can find all your albums on a tiled view and you can swipe for genres, artists, folders, all tracks and playlists. Below that you have a now playing option to play, pause or skip. And if you tap on it, you can get a now playing options. At the top you have a shortcut to music ID, search, options for other music controls settings etc. On settings we have options for our account, notification settings 
headset settings where you can control what to do when the headset is plugged in, rescanning the library, lock screen settings and so on. Now let's select a music. As it plays, we have the regular music controls at the bottom and on the music player, also the lyrics are auto highlighted according to the song. You can add the currently playing song to favorites and you can tap here to display the full lyrics of the song. At the top, you have the option to sing along like on the karaoke, equalizer settings, and the now playing list. If you swipe, you can see other details of the artist like what album they appeared on and artist's discography. You also get a very stylish lock screen with this app as you can see here, and many useful widgets too. So great app for music lover and a great music app. The next one here is Feedly. Feedly is the best way to follow blogs, news sites, YouTube videos and so on. With a very fast and a beautiful layout, this app is very handy to stay updated in almost everything that you like or that you are interested in, like technology, politics, sports and many more. Once you start this app, swipe to the right to view all your news and articles according to the categories. To add content. Select the category and choose your favorite website. Let's say tech. And once you select it, you get a bunch of famous tech websites. Now to select any of them, tap on the add button and select the category you want. You can perform similarly with other categories and websites too. Say for example, you can select your favorite photography website. And you can add this to your photography category. Similarly, you can do this with other fields as well, so that you can stay updated on what's happening on that related field. You also get a widget showing you the top story of the categories you have saved. So this is very handy just to get the headlines and the important news. You also have this saved for later feature which allows you to save any of your favorite news articles for later access, even when offline. So a very useful news app to stay updated on what's happening around. The next one is MovieTube. MovieTube is the best app to watch movies online for free. This app automatically updates itself with the movies that are free on the web. When you start this app, you get four different tabs for popular based on categories, new, playlist and history. You can scroll down in any category and see through the list of movies that are free based on their ratings. You can also search for movies by tapping here. Select the movie you want and here you can see the info about the movie. Related movies and more movies in that category. You have regular settings to play and pause. Enable disable high quality. And you can tilt your device or tap here to enter the full screen mode. You have this slider menu to sign in, jump to home, view your account and other information about this app. So using this app is an absolute pleasure on this beautiful 5 inch display with the awesome boom sound speakers. The next one here is AnyDo. AnyDo is a reminder app that lets you create reminders. Once you start this app, you get a beautiful layout of the to-do list of today, tomorrow, upcoming days or someday. To add events to your calendar, tap on the add button and type the topic you want to be reminded for or tap on the mic icon to say what you want to be reminded for. This app also accepts voice commands. Let's say I want to be reminded for something. I type the word and tap on the alarm icon to set date and time of the reminder, intervals and go back. You can then see your reminder on the list and tapping on this will allow you to edit the reminder's name, time, highlight the reminder and add notes to your reminder. One of the coolest feature of this app is that it even reminds you of the missed calls and gives you four different options to dismiss, like call later, which will add a reminder to call the contact later, send text and call now. This is a very helpful add-on as you can respond to your missed calls instantly and you don't always have to pull down the notification center or open the phone app to see through your missed calls. On options. You can also create folders for your reminders to organize them based on its categories. 
You can set a plan for the whole day, sync the reminders with its own app called AnyDoCal, which is a calendar application, sync it with your email account and go to settings. On settings, we have options for our folders, themes, and other notification options. This app also supports Google Glasses. And this app also comes with a variety of widgets. Widgets to see what's next, create reminder instantly, and to-do list for today. So a great reminder app with a lot of cool features. The next one here is SMS pop-up. With this app enabled, you get a pop-up notifications for the messages you receive via SIM network. Here, let me just show you how this is done. As you see, we get a pop-up notification every time we receive a message and you have this contact information, time and message content. You can close the message or you can give a quick reply. While replying, you also can use Google Now voice command for your message. And if you have defined any presets, you can use them as well. Back to the app, we have settings for enabling and disabling the pop-up notification, notification settings and additional settings for button configuration, quick reply, delivery reports, screen controls and many more. You also can manage your preset messages. So a great time-saving app as you don't always have to open the messaging app to reply your messages. The next one here is the Viva Video. Viva Video is a video making as well as editing app that lets you create beautiful videos with the saved photos and videos. You can also take pictures and videos right from this app and edit them right away. When the app is launched, you have different options to capture, create movie out of the photos that are saved on your phone and quickly edit the photos or videos with the pro edit function. Pro edit function is where you can capture and add videos to edit them. You have this slider menu for item downloads like effects for your videos, settings for your notifications, advanced settings, etc. After choosing videos and pictures, you are asked to trim if you have selected videos to edit and choose different pictures from the library if you want to create awesome video from the pictures, like a slideshow. After choosing, let it process for a while and to add another image, choose from the folder or go back to choose from other folders. Once you have selected all the images or videos for your video, tap OK. From here, you can add other clips from gallery, you can edit previously added clips, you can choose different themes, FX, that is visual effects, filters, transitions, title, music, and dub your own audio. After that, tap share to share your video or save it. So here's a quick demo. So guys, this is a great app for video editing and if you want to create your own slideshow, so this is a really great app for that. The next app here is JetG. Basically, this is a personalization app from where you can download high resolution wallpapers for your phone, live wallpapers, ringtones, notification sounds, etc. Swiping from the left will give you these options and here you can choose what you want to download. Say for example, wallpapers. So over here you have multiple tabs like featured, recent, popular, etc. Select the image that you like and hit download. So you will get this image on your gallery and then you can use that image as your wallpaper. Similarly, you can do this with other categories as well. So you have this huge collection of wallpapers from various categories to choose from. You also have this my downloads tab from where you can see your downloaded items. So great all in one app for personalization regarding wallpapers, ringtones, etc. The next one here is floating stickies. This is like the sticky notes that you have on your Windows PC or your laptop. You can use this app as a reminder or say if you need to note something quick. These sticky notes floats on your screen no matter what you are using on your phone. You can add additional sticky notes by tapping on this plus icon. You can also resize it or close it. And if you are disturbed with these sticky notes on your screen, you can also hide it. You can simply swipe left on the sticky notes and it gets hidden with this icon. Again, you can swipe it to the right to get it back. 
I just feel that this app is sometimes really useful than reminders for certain conditions as this is very very simple to use and stays on top of your home screen. The last one for today's episode is the speakers free. This is quite a fun application. Actually this is a live wallpaper. First you need to set this as your live wallpaper. And the cool thing about this app is that when you play a song or any music, these speakers shown on your live wallpaper will automatically start bouncing like on the physical woofer. Have a look. I play the music, the animation starts. I pause it and it stops. So that's really cool. You also get additional options like theme settings for your speakers, like you can change your speakers as you can see here, background box, number of speakers, speakers type, figures etc. You also can enable disable the wave, change the wave color, you can enable or disable the visualizer that you get over here. So I found this app really cool so thought of sharing it with you guys. So that's all for this episode. I will be coming up with more app videos and game videos. Stay tuned for that and you guys have a great time.